Hey Scorpio, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your weekly reading, uh, the 17th to the 23rd of October 2021. As always, this could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time that you're guided to see it. All right, it's going to be for anyone with Scorpio placements, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Where, what do we need to know for this Scorpio reading for whenever anyone is guided to see it? Never ending story. Okay, so something that you just are like, I'm just so sick of this, whatever it is. Okay, why and breathe. All right, so why and breathe. I want to get one more on this because this just, um, um, what round and round fell out tell me about um never ending story and why okay oh soulmates oh no i'm sorry loyal heart but yeah they're soulmates to me too all right so whatever this is it's something about you and your person that keeps happening and you're like i need to know why can we find out why? Let me just, I want to know why. Um, tell me why. Is there anything we can know about the why card for Scorpio? What do we need to know about why this keeps coming back around or happening? Oh, because you're between. Okay. And oh, two. All right. So this, you got more cards than anyone else from this deck. All right. The, the issue really is that you're between worlds right now you're coming out of a dark time and going into a really bright light time but something needs to be cleaned up right now it has to do with you and your soulmate it has to do with something that just keeps coming back around it like it's like it's the never-ending story why do we always got to talk about this why does this have to always be the issue and it has to do with your soulmate. The loyal heart card to me is a soulmate card. There are two people that mirror each other. They are soulmates nonetheless. And Spirit says, look, in order for you to get to this place of peace, this breathe card. And you know what? Peace is at the bottom as well. It's meant to be here. I, You got more cards than anyone else did. Okay, but well, they were meant to be here. I literally said peace when I saw the breathe card. And here we are. In order for you to get to this with this soulmate, you're going to have to clean something up. Something's got to be done for you to be able to step through. This all has to do with your soulmate. I'm going to put the soulmate card right. Well, I'll leave it here where you can see it. Um, this every bit of what we're talking about has to do with that soulmate and the never ending story and why it keeps happening. And spirits saying, look, once you clean it up, you're right between worlds right now. Once you step into the bright light and leave that yuckiness behind, it all changes. But you're going to have to actually do that. Let's put these up here where you can see them. That is breathe in peace. That is the goal. So, listen, you're not the first person in the world, Scorpio, to have an issue with a soulmate that just is a pain in the butt. Where, why do we have to keep, I mean, I absolutely have a, a friend who's a soulmate like this. In fact, he is a Sagittarius and he could be as a cusper for all I know. Um, like he's a Sagittarius Scorpio cusper. I don't, I, I'm trying to remember when his birthday is, but either way, doesn't really matter. But this exactly feels like this to me. Like, even though we're just friends, what a very argumentative person he is. Very never wrong, never open to new ideas, no spirituality, nothing like just angry at the world and you know it's a never-ending story always you know in a bad mood always got an issue always got family issues you know it's just like what why is this it's a never-ending story you know I care about my friend very much but at the same time you lose the anger raise your vibration and stop dealing with people who bring you down right anyway but that's what this feels like like something that need keeps happening between you and your very loyal heart your soulmate how do you stop doing it you're gonna have to come out you're gonna have to get in a higher vibration it's that simple it really is and maybe you're not in a low vibration but they might be one of you guys has got to do something or both of you see what happens is even if you're not in a low vibration they put you in one every time you go around them right like i can't even hang out with this person i have to put up a protective bubble and i have to be in just the right energy to hang out with my 
this particular friend um, because they can suck the life out of you. Emotional vampires, right? Um, energy vampires. They are because they're in not in a, they're they're in a low vibration. Uh huh. And next thing you know, you deal with them, you hang out with them, and you're in a low vibration, and you're like, what the hell? So you got to put that let that um, bubble around yourself. Call in Archangel Michael and protect your energy from them. I don't know why I'm shuffling these. We haven't even finished Oracle yet, but at least they're shuffled for us when we're ready for them. That's the modern spellcasters tarot. All right, let's get into this Oracle now. So that was Wisdom of the Oracle, and I pulled way too many. We have Energy Oracle next. What do we need to know here for Scorpio? What's important? Archangel Michael, six, oh no, I'm sorry, six chakra Archangel Metatron. Nice, that is your third eye chakra. Okay, what else do we need to know about this reading here for Scorpio? What else is important? Yeah, the temple path and community. And that might be another thing. Like this could be like a whole community of people who are in a low vibration that Spirit's telling you to um, move away from. Um, yeah. I'm going to grab you one more. Can I have one more for this? Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron, the Temple Path, and Community. Whoa, that's too many. Just one or two. The Temple Path and Community. What else? Okay. Financial constraints and anxiety. Okay, this does not have to be about money, although it can be. But when you have this kind of energy, this is kind of like Five of Pentacles energy. Um, financial constraints and anxiety could just be that you're in a low vibration. Again, because of the community or the people you're hanging out with or the person. This could be one person or more. I feel like it's going to be different for each of you. That is bringing you down, really. Um, and they're saying, listen to your intuition here with the third eye chakra. This is your um, psychic abilities, your understanding, and your intuition, right? So you are tapping into your intuition. That's part of your uh, temple path here. In fact, being involved with this was part of your temple path. It was so that you would clean it up, so that you would go from the darkness into the light, so you would take action. And that is why we have to go through most all of our um karmic lessons right because we're supposed to want more for ourselves and we're supposed to grow and be better stronger versions of ourselves and we're supposed to know who and what we need to deal with without letting them suck us down their rabbit hole of tragedy all right what else do i need to know here please for scorpio what else is important Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Broken heart, door to value. This felt, as soon as I laid down broken heart, I got broken people. Broken people is what I heard. Yeah, walking away. Absolutely. Absolutely. Blossoming abundance on the other end. All right. So if, when you walk away from people that don't value you or that allow you, don't allow you to value yourself, um, you're going to walk towards blossoming abundance. This is going to be very healing for you. In fact, at the bottom of the deck, Healer of the Ages sits right there. Okay, but your bottom of the deck was um, Blossoming Abundance. Um, did we pull? Oh, God, I used the same deck. That's so funny. I it didn't pull from the um, Quantum Oracle. I pulled more from the Energy Oracle. Nothing's a mistake. I always say it. So let's get a couple of the Quantum Oracle. What do we need to know here? Quantum Oracle. Oh, gosh. Get back here. Okay, I got to put them all back. All right, what do we need to know about this reading? Still on Scorpio reading. We need more information. The loving man came right back out. That just came out with a whole bunch of other cards. Motivation and increased cycle. Wow. So keep this in mind. So this loving man has something to do with a, a lot of happiness and that you don't know that this is like everything. It's the house, it's the kids, it's the loving man. Now you could be the loving man, right? However that works, could be man, woman, woman, man, doesn't matter. And cycle of increase. You don't know about it. Like it's almost like hidden. When you leave behind whatever this is, these people that don't value you, this person that doesn't value you, this situation that you're so sick and tired of because this person's in such a low vibration. Yes, they are a soulmate. But there's no way that you want to live in this five of pentacles energy with this person. 
Let them live in their own five of pentacles if they don't want to clean it up. That's their problem, right? Okay, so this is you getting out of that. Let me get you. And when you walk away from it, you walk through the door of value and into a blossoming abundance. It does kind of suck that you can't be around this person or these people but what really matters is that you get this piece that you need to get in a high vibration all right give me a little bit more information what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this reading please what's important trans yeah transformation that is like the death card right the end of an old cycle and entering into a cycle of increase there it is right there so you'll be leaving the old anxiety ridden financial constra constraints never-ending story dark cycle of darkness and heading into the light and look at this too patience and planning and look how bright it is it's like when you plan this out when you know i'm going to go into this cycle of increase i'm going to allow the old cycle to die i'm going to focus on a loving kind person male or female that i want to have this with and i'm going to pull away from any community members or any people who bring me down who put me in this financial constraints who put me in this broken heart who put me in this anxiety who put me in a dark place and don't let me go into the light here I'm going to leave it all behind. When you plan that out and you actually do it and allow that old cycle to end, you go into peace, you go into breathe, you go, you've done the planning and spirit's going to send you into the door of value and blossoming abundance. It's just so beautiful. It really is, but it's going to take you actually, somebody else had a similar reading to this where they absolutely had to leave behind. I think it could have been cancer. It could have been. So you might want to check that out. What else do we need to know here for Scorpio? Memories of love. Listen, you can still care about these people. You don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to hate them. You can still love them, but they're just not in your highest good. They're, they're a very low vibration. And we have here emotional withdrawal that came out as well at the bottom. And when I see the emotional withdrawal with the memories of love, I feel like you need to withdraw your your energy from i definitely feel like you deal with someone who's an emotional vampire i do and you need to let go of that never-ending story and move out of the darkness and into the light and clean up your own energy this is your own energy peace and breathe that's what you'll go into as soon as you leave whatever this is behind this walking away this leaving this energy behind sends you to the door of value and blossoming abundance it's beautiful but it does constitute you, you know, you can still care, but I honestly think you need to um, be careful of who you let into your energy. We've got here at the bottom, partnerships and alliances and balance. Listen, this is about forming partnerships and alliances with people who are very bright, who people are very light, that allow you to be bright and light and don't keep you in this it's just this bad energy um listen i don't think this is a bad person i just think this person's bad for you um sometimes you know how many times have we watched it where we've seen a couple that were terrible together but when they hooked up with someone new they were wonderful to that person some people just aren't for us right we're just not a good match and there was something here we were meant to do that's why we came together and we're supposed to go our separate ways that's karma all right let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good let's get a few more cards here please for scorpio what do we need to know this could be you could be a scorpio dealing with a cancer uh, or you could have cancer somewhere in your chart but i feel as though you had very similar messages not exactly the same but similar what do we need to know here, please, about this reading for Scorpio? Anyone with Scorpio placements? What's important? Yeah, this is a transformation. This is allowing an old cycle to end so you can get into that brand new cycle of increase that's waiting for you. It's like it's hidden. Look, it's hidden. You don't know how great the next cycle is going to be, but it's going to be amazing once you allow the transformation. But it does constitute you walking away from the old one. All right, what else do we need to know here? It's like you pass something, like a test. Like you discover your value, the door to value and blossoming abundance. They come from you making some kind of a bold move that is, you know, um, 
you're thinking of you. You're doing something for you, not for another person who just brings you down. Like I, like you choose you. All right, give me just one or two cards here, please. All right, what do we need to know for Scorpio? Wow, that flew right out. There we go, Queen of Cups, that's you. What else do we need to know? Wow, the star wish fulfillment, lovely, came right out. What else do we need to know? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, three of pentacles working together. Oh, my God, in some kind of a partnership. This is beautiful. To uh, The lovers, what else do we need to know about this? I'm telling you, you're going to go into an amazing cycle, and you're going to meet this man or this woman, depending on who you are. Right after you dump the burdens, I cannot make that up. As soon as you dump these burdens, this ten of wands, you're going to meet somebody. And it's going to be amazing. But you're going to have to let this old cycle go. This was so straight up. I have nothing else to say. I'm going to grab you some angel cards. Listen, Scorpio, if you could, please comment down below and let me know if you know if this is your reading or if you're hoping this is your reading. I feel like you already know this other person or thing or whatever it is. You need to walk away from it so that you can raise your vibration and step into your cycle of increase. Once you do, it is loving woman, loving man. They're both here. These are both king and queen of cups. Whatever. It doesn't matter what sign they are. It really doesn't. It's allowing for a beautiful transformation and then being able to find a person that you really gel with, that you can really work with, that is wish fulfillment for you. It really is. This going to be a brilliant new cycle for you. What do we need to know here for Scorpio? Please don't forget to hit the like, guys. It helps the channel so, so much more than you really know. It keeps it going. It really, truly does. Thank you. Um, let's grab you a couple of angel cards. Angels, what do we need to know for Scorpio? openness communication wow all right listen you're gonna meet somebody i'm telling you in high vibration communication openness now do you have to be open with the person or people that you need to leave behind maybe but this to me feels like you're gonna be in something really nice when you detach from whatever this is you can keep the memories you can you know whatever this is you might need maybe it's the memories of this situation that keeps you in a low vibration maybe you're not even with this person or people anymore purification spirit says if that's the case clean it up okay clean up your energy get spiritual baths chakra balancing whatever you need to do uh get grounded get outside in the dirt jump in a body of water or whatever you got to do and simplicity that i'm telling you your next situation is going to be open and honest it's going to flow it's going to be beautiful you guys are a divine match here Okay, but it comes from you leaving something behind or someone behind or several someone's behind. It's going to be different for each of you. Guys, let me know about this. Comment down below. I will be talking to you soon. I hope you have a great week. Okay, bye.